This lesson will show you how to find the volume of solid figures made of two rectangular prisms. Now, we've already done a problem like this one before, where we know that in order to find the volume, we need to multiply the length, the height, and the width. In this case, you would find the volume by multiplying 3 meters times 2 meters times 7 meters, and as you solve it, 6 times 7, the volume is 42, and remember that it is meters cubed. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're just going to be taking this and we're going to be finding the volume of two rectangles just like that and then adding them together. Let's look at this next problem. With this problem, they've already given you most of the measurements. For the bottom block, and we'll call that block A, you have six inches, five inches, and four inches, four inches being the height, five being the width, and six being the length. So we can say that the volume of figure A is four times five times six. So the volume of figure A would be 20 times six, which would be 120 inches cubed. Now we need to find the volume of figure B. And with this, we can use some of the same information. Okay, They gave us 3 inches to show that this side here is 3 inches. And they gave us 2 inches to show that the height of this cube is 2 inches. But they did not give us this length. Okay, The reason is because that is exactly the same as what they gave us down at the bottom. So for the volume of figure B, we're going to have 2 times 3 times 5. And as we work through that, we see that 6 times 5 is 30. So the volume of figure B is 30 inches cubed. Okay, And I want to find the overall volume. So what I'm going to need to do is take 120 inches cubed and 30 inches cubed and add them together. where we will find that the volume of this figure is 150 inches cubed. Okay? All we did is we found the volume of this, the base, we found the volume of this prism, and we added the two together. Try this problem on your own. This is missing a little bit more information, but using what they give you, you will be able to determine the missing sides. Okay, quick walkthrough of how I found the missing sides. Let's start with red. We needed to find out the length here. So what we did is we, I took the entire length, which is 6 meters, subtracted the 4 that I was given to see that there are 2 meters here. It has to be 2 because 2 plus 4 is 6, which is the same length, because this is a rectangular prism. With the yellow, I said this length here is exactly the same as this length here, so I can just bring up that number. Now for the blue, I know that the height here is 4 meters total and that the height of this piece is 2 meters. So what I did is I brought this over and said that if this is 2 meters and the total length is 4, then I can do 4 meters minus 2 meters gives me another 2 meters. So now I have the full volume of that, or all the numbers that I need to solve it. Okay. So using the information that I was able to determine and labeling the different blocks, I looked at this to say that the volume of figure A is 24 meters cubed because I did 6 times 2 times 2. Now I'll solve for figure B. Okay. Again, using the, the information from the last picture, I was able to determine that this is 2 meters, this is 2 meters, and the height is 2 meters for 2 times 2 times 2. Solving that, the volume of figure B is 8 meters cubed, and I just need to add them together. Which, when I solve it, I see that it is 32 meters cubed. Try one last problem. Okay. This problem is a little bit different, but when you read the question carefully, you can figure it out. Okay. A sculpture is made of two sizes of rectangular prisms. You need to know two sizes. 
Okay, one size measures 13 inches by 8 inches by 2 inches. The other measures 9 inches by 8 by 18 inches. What is the total volume of the structure? Go ahead and solve it, and then I'll walk you through it. Knowing that there are two sizes, it's important to determine which is which. Okay, and what I would do is I would go through and say that this is the smaller one are all A, and the larger rectangular prisms are B, and then use that to solve it. Okay. So I started with A, and I looked at this and said, I know that this side is smaller than any of the other sides, so this must be associated with the first one. So what I did is I found the volume of one rectangular prism for A, which is 208 inches cubed, and then I said, I have six of them, so I need to do 208 inches cubed times 6, which gives me 1,248 inches cubed. Now I'll solve for B. Okay, so what I did there is I took the last information, found the volume of one rectangular prism, which is 1,296 inches cubed, multiply that by the two rectangular prisms that I have to get 2,592 inches cubed, and now I need to add these together which gives me 3,840 inches cubed for the entire figure.